This is step seven, Limerence Anonymous, Meeting in Your Pocket playlist. I'm Carol and I suffer from limerence. I'll just read this thing that AI helped me to write on our step study today. Limerence Anonymous, a support group aimed at individuals grappling with the intense emotions associated with limerence, with the intense emotions, oh, emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and personal growth. Let me read that sentence again. It got all scrambled up. My apologies. Limerence Anonymous, a support group aimed at individuals grappling with the intense emotions associated with limerence, emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and personal growth. Step seven, which involves humbly asking a higher power to remove one's shortcomings, serves as a pivotal moment in their recovery process. The step encourages participants to confront their emotional vulnerabilities and recognize how these shortcomings may hinder their ability to form healthy relationships. Yeah, I'm Carol and I suffer from limerence. When I'm dealing with the idea of someone instead of the real person, when I am uh, anxious about the idea of them or about their reciprocity, it is difficult indeed to have a real relationship with them because you can't really uh, deal with the real person as they are. The act of humility in step seven is particularly significant. It requires individuals to acknowledge that they cannot overcome their challenges through sheer willpower alone. By surrendering control and seeking assistance from a higher power, be it spiritual or psychological, participants can cultivate a sense of openness and receptivity. The shift in perspective fosters an environment conducive to healing and self-improvement. Moreover, this step promotes accountability. Accountability, humility. By recognizing their shortcomings, participants are encouraged to actively engage in efforts toward personal development. Ultimately, step seven is not merely about relinquishing flaws, but rather embracing the journey toward emotional maturity and healthier relational dynamics. I want to thank AI once again for helping me write this. I'm Carol and I suffer from limerence. I own my limerence.